Hello YouTube and welcome back to The Crumbs. This is just gonna be a super quick video. We went through one hell of a roller coaster with the AGS and Smilegate to get this patch. So many great things I will be covering throughout the week. But first things first, if you open up your, your universal storage, which you press on escape and it should be one of the options here. All right, cheated the system, my berserker here, he got some hope amulets as compensation. So I can show you guys where the universal storage is. So you press escape and right under guides here, here it is. It won't show up unless you have something in universal storage. Press here and you'll find the card sets in here. What we got are the new cards that I had mentioned in a previous video. So these new cards here, they give you 4% max health, a shield at 20% health if you're below 30% health, and additional damage of 3%. Overall, that's all like really good. Uh, it's pretty comparable to the Witcher one we got here, which is 5% health, and then you get an RNG of attack speed, shield, or 6% attack power. This is definitely a lot more consistent and way better. Um, so I definitely pick this over the Witcher. Uh, Witcher one is completely dead now, I think. Um, and when would you equip this? Well, you'd equip this, as I mentioned in the title or the thumbnail, that if you do not have Light of Salvation at least 18, or if you don't have Lost Wind Cliff at least 12, you definitely equip this for two reasons. So firstly is if it's this isn't at least 18 and this isn't at least 12, you're not getting the combat stats behind these card packs, so you're not really gaining anything by equipping them. And two, this is more if of a human psychology thing, so a lot of people when they see someone equipping this card set before it's 18 or this before it's 12, uh, people are kind of looking for reasons to gatekeep you, and this is a really big one that's been kind of, um, you know, stuck in the way people think. That if you have this or this when they're not at their combat stats awakening levels, then they just instantly assume you're kind of clueless at the game and they instantly gatekeep you. Like, it doesn't matter if you have great gems. Maybe you have, if you have high eye level, they'll, you know, let you pass. But at that point, they can let you pass on everything else. Um, but the sentiment with the Witcher one, for instance, because that's the one we've had, like, a bit of time with now, is people see that and they go, like, okay, this person's new or at least got really unlucky with cards, but they know what they're doing, and I think the sentiment will continue to be uh, the same thing here with the Star of Destiny one. And no, sadly not, uh, if anyone asks, this is only a 5-piece set, and there's no card that gives a bonus as one, so you could equip one just for aesthetic purposes like this, you know, but, oh, I want it, there we go. But, I mean, yeah, it just, you won't get any bonuses, it'll just look better. And yeah, that's everything I wanted to share super quickly with this video. Very quick, short one. Just want to be really informative. I think this is something really big. Um, I've been seeing it a lot with people not having Lost Wind Cliff 12 or LOS 18. So there you go. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully I'll be seeing you another time and bye-bye.